Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And of course, the right service into the box. There's the whistle, and here we go. Forward it goes, and it's got through. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. it out to the flank so who's he picking out turns and goes back chance he's delivered all right the breakthrough strike the keeper deserves some sympathy there he may not have seen that until too late Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. We're now the lead. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Hoists it forward and helps available out wide. And the ball is out of play. for the crop has a hit oh that is rather wayward well he did get himself into a good position something for him to cling to cuts it out Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Hits one! Goal! Oh, I think it's been called offside. Yes, it has. Yeah, the assistant called it correctly. There's some disagreement, as usual, but they've got it right. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call.
his whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has to Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Takes it over to the other flank, and it's Rain Adelaide. He's got options out wide, receives it from behind. Still just a single goal between the sides. Looking for a decent ball in. Shot a goal! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Plenty waiting in the middle. It's a clever pass. Chance to shapes to shoot! Back of the net! And surely that does it! Perfect time! Decisive strike! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, no, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. So that's two now without reply. Ren Adelaide. Just five minutes left. He's off on the marauding run. That's a throw. Ren Adelaide. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. A decent win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from white areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good.